SACT Chairman of the BVI Health Services Authority, BVI HSA, Bishop John Klein, is back speaking on matters of government and social issues after being off the scene for a few weeks. In an exclusive interview with JTV News, the man of the cloth once again defended his position taken on the controversial BVI airport expansion project and the topic of removing the portfolio of Minister of Finance from Premier Dr. D. Orlando Smith. Klein also added his bit on the 2017 national budget and the ruckus in the Virgin Islands party. Here is Kathy Richards with the details. Bishop John Klein says he has been keeping a close eye on the happenings of the country both in and out of government. Speaking on the issues of the 2017 national budget as read by Premier and Minister of Finance Dr. D. Orlando Smith, Klein alluded to what he sees as a noticeable decline in the income to the financial services sector which he believes has an effect on the overall reduction of the general 2017 budget when compared to that of 2016. According to Klein, it is known among government officials that a number of things to come stand to further erode revenue from the financial services sector, one being the beneficial ownership register. Of course we are concerned and you should, we as a people should be concerned with that decline because it would seem like the cash cow is a little sick and we need to understand we don't need to understand everything, but we are, we need to understand um, what's going on and how the people, not just the people, need to prepare themselves. If there's a storm coming, if there's a famine coming, then the government needs to tell us and tell us how we need to prepare ourselves. Klein says he has no change of heart on his views of the country's financial prowess to invest in expanding the Terence B. Letsum International Airport at this time. This was one of his comments which got him into the black book of Premier Smith. The other issue stemmed from his response to a letter written by National Democratic Party staunch member Eileen Parsons suggesting that the portfolio of finance minister be removed from Premier Smith to Minister of Health and Social Development Ronnie Skelton. I never put forward the view that that is what should happen. What I did say is if Ms. Parsons feels that that is what should happen, then they should listen to her. But I wasn't the one who came up with the view. It's not my vision one way or the other. My, my, the most important thing to me is that the country run right. So even if you, you can put whoever, and, and I feel that they should put the most competent person there. Now, if you read my, the script from, from that interview, I said, if Miss Parsons feels, who's a long time and strong supporter of the NDP, if she feels that they should happen, at least they could do, is listen, have a discussion about it. And they took it to mean that somehow I was disrespecting the premier. But I don't, I don't understand how intelligent people can come up with such ridiculous conclusions. Ramblings in the Virgin Islands party VIP is not without a spot on the tongue of Klein, who also wants to see their issues resolved. Well, I listen to what's going on, and, and the only thing that I'll say with that is that I hope that we can come to some conclusion and, and, and some decision that is in the best interest of the party, because the BVI uh, the VI, the Virgin Islands Party has been around for a long time, and we need two strong parties in the country. Um, I think it helps to provide checks and balances. It's good democracy when you can have two strong, at least two strong parties um, in the country. So I would hope that they would sort out their differences and um, the leader will emerge. Uh, the clear leader will emerge that, that people can rally behind. For JTV News, I'm Kathy Richards.